Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Polarity. My name is Lenny J. It is FSD beta time. Let's go ahead and give you the official FSD beta overview. This is your official FSD beta overview video. <laughs> I, I'm dubbing these videos that I do official FSD beta overview videos, giving you looks from around the net on Twitter and on YouTube of people who have this beta, giving you their first impressions of what it's like to have this update. This brand new update is the update that Elon Musk hinted about last week. He called it beta five. It is here. This is update version 2020.44.15.3. And it came out during the day today, which is interesting because usually they have been coming out on a Friday night, really late at night. This one came out Wednesday. A lot of that probably has to do with the fact that it is Thanksgiving week here in the U.S. So last week, Elon Musk tweeted about this update and said next week's release is special. A lot of fundamental improvements, both important bug fixes and entire new areas of functionality. Now, so the beta is still pretty new and fresh on these beta testers cars. So there's still going to be some videos to come. But first impressions, it does seem as though this update is better than the last. James Locke had this to say. My first video after getting the latest FSD beta. 2020.44.15.3 has made noticeable improvements with approaching intersections to stop as well as more confident in the turn at intersections. He posted a video. I'll have the link to the video in the description so you can see it in full. But it does appear that his car actually does take these turns really well. These left turns are coming out really well for him. Brand, on the other hand, his tweet is huge. He said FSD beta just handled every traffic circle and roundabout. Seriously, video coming soon. He has in fact posted that video since me actually recording this. So I want to break in and talk about it just for a quick second. In the video, he states that the way the car handles yellow lights is much better now. It actually does not do a little break. It just goes straight through the yellow lights. The way the car actually handles stopping at stop signs and at lights, it actually stops closer up to the line now, basically at the line instead of stopping back like it did in the previous version. His also did a roundabout and it did the roundabout just fine as you can see right here. So click the link in the description, go check out his video because it's chuck full of 44 minutes of goodness. Brandon also gives us our first look at some of the changes to the UI. Very, very minor changes, but pretty cool nonetheless. So in the first video he posted on Twitter, he showed that when you actually disconnect your Bluetooth while in the car, you get a notification at the bottom that says walk away lock unavailable. So the car is letting you know that since you turn your Bluetooth off, you will not be able to walk away from the car and actually have the car lock be based on Bluetooth and proximity. He also notes that the wheels on the car are a bit more vibrant. They pop a little bit more. And you can see from this video of his screen, it actually really does appear that the wheels are pretty popping in this video compared to the car, which is really odd. Now I want to go to his second video. This update actually shows you the actual window position. It's really cool. He starts off the video by rolling down his window. He says, hey, this is the actual window position. Then he rolls it back up. He rolls down the back window. And then he rolls the window slightly up in the back just a little bit. And you can see on the animation, it actually stops where he rolled it up. It didn't go all the way up to the top. So yes, in this update, the car on the screen actually does give you the actual window position for what you're doing in your car when you roll your window up or down. In a quick little video here, Tesla owner Silicon Valley actually showed his Tesla taking him to the front of a Walmart and it did it ever so cautiously. It was very cautious, but it actually did take him to the front of the Walmart. And what's cool is in the video, it gets very challenging because he approaches the front of Walmart and on the right side of the car is the actual car that's kind of parked up there, just kind of waiting for someone to get in and out. You know how people do that at Walmart. On the left side of the car is someone coming out of the aisle for parking and making a right turn. And the car actually goes around the car on the right and avoids the car on the left. It seems to do it pretty confidently, too. So that's really nice to see that this is actually just getting smarter and smarter and better and better. His next video actually showcases the beta going over to the next lane because there's some traffic cones in one lane, how it's being blocked off because of construction zone. It's a construction zone basically. And the car actually sees those cones and just follows the cones and gets into the right lane to avoid the construction. Really cool to see. So that's all we have so far from the individuals on Twitter that actually had the beta update. It seems as though people are saying the update is better. Um, hopefully it will continue to get better. So that's, so that's all I have for you in this FSD beta update overview video. I will see you in the next episode. My name is Lenny J. This is Polarity.